heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal all right man so i think anthony joshua pretty much is giving us his game plan for kubrat pulev let me tell you why i say that um first of all let me give a shout out to boxingscene.com and also men's health all right because this article right here was from boxing scene and they took some quotes from a men's health uh interview that joshua had done all right so shouts out to both of them all right but reading this article man first of all let me say i like what i hear from anthony joshua about learning how to adapt um not taking all criticism as hate um when he's on his social media he actually gave an example let me read the example he gave about reading social you know things on social media and taking it all of and taking some of it as constructive criticism and working on things you know what i mean um right here he says uh talking about you know doubters right he says they might say you're shit you're going to get knocked out because your hands are too low and i would think that's a good indication i've got to keep my left hand up i use the doubters as a positive factor not as a negative one all right and i think that's smart of him man you know what i mean um a lot of us not just me but a lot of us fans even on some fighters i heard say this you know what i mean when he had a, just a lot of muscle on him like hey man you probably need to lay off the weight training and just do more boxing related workouts a lot of sparring and hitting the mids just keep doing more of that right now prior to um you know before his loss you know uh AJ didn't want to do that. He wanted to just keep doing what he was doing. He wanted to keep things the, the the way that they were. He takes his first L. He comes back. He's much leaner. Doesn't have as, as much bulk on him. You know what I mean? He's just more fluid as a fighter going to that second fight. And he also said in this article, man, that, he, you know, again, just all about adapting. But he had the wrong game plan. He said in this article, according to him, Ruiz isn't the type of guy you go in there and just go to war with. You know what I mean? Um you don't give him that type of fight and he even said in his article that he went in there and he was hooking with the hooker as you see in this fight trying to exchange left hooks with a guy that loves to throw that punch that's that guy's fight he went in there and fought ruiz's fight the second fight just like he said in his article right here he says in the second fight i went in there and he tried to box with the boxer and i came out on top and as you see right here from the second fight aj was using his full length using his legs using his mobility um just moving around the ring using his jab and when he got close put the vice grip on him and hold him you know what i mean i know a lot of fans wasn't uh, happy with the the way in which the manner the uh the fight was fought but shit man like i say win tonight worry about looking great in your next fight you know what i mean that's the type of fight he need to fight against ruiz man use that jab hold his ass you know what i mean i've seen a lot of big guys fight smaller guys like that uh, lennox lewis fought tua in a similar fashion i'm not saying he fought him exactly the same but in a similar fashion you know what i mean no reason to go in there and try to you know um prove who can that you can throw a better left hook than this guy although aj has a pretty you know he's a pretty good mid-range mid-range uh fighter himself for a big guy but andy is better at it because he has better defense and quicker hands and he has a damn good chin and he can pop a little bit on the inside at that close you know what i mean so um that lets me think this now since he said that we know that pulev is great for what using his jab so i don't think aj is going to go in there and try to jab with the jabber right he just gave an example about him going in there trying to hook with a hooker and then ruiz trying to you know uh box with an outboxer i don't think aj is going to go in there and try to jab with the jabber now of course in boxing you use your jab right so, yes, I think he's going to use his jab, but I don't think he's going to go in there and try to have a fencing contest with a guy like Pulev. And I think Pulev has the best jab in boxing, in my opinion. Um, you know, so I think AJ is going to come in there, man, kind of just show us, you know, just in case if Roy Jones used to say we must have forgot. Right. I think he's going to come in there and give us kind of some of the older AJ, a guy that's going to come forward, move his head as he's on his way in, um, use a thudding powerful meaningful jab when he does throw it but he's going to follow with big right hands left hooks and uppercuts and put his combinations together against Pulev now it's going to give Pulev an opportunity because Pulev likes to use the jab but he does like to throw sweeping right hands behind it and he'll kind of throw variations of right hands sometimes he'll try to land behind your glove he'll throw a straight right hand he'll scrape it to the body he'll mix it up with his with his right hand after he throws his jab but he does like to double up and throw hard jabs and use his jab to bust you up so 
if AJ keeps the same mindset, I don't think AJ is going to come in there and try to out jab jabber. I think he's going to uh, he may show some movement, but I think for the most part, I think I believe that AJ is going to be aggressive. But I guess we will see. I can't wait for this fight to happen. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gone.